Kristen and Bud. Now they stand here before me and you, the congregation, relatives and friends of the bride and groom. They stand here with the intent of joining their hands and lives so that throughout their days they may live together in happiness and united strength. Let us join with the bride and groom in their happiness and witness and confirm this union. Kristen and Bud. You stand here together before me and the congregation for only a short while. Yet from this time hence, for as long as you each live, you will be sharing common happiness, responsibilities, and goals, which only the two of you will fully understand and appreciate. Bud, are you ready to accept this woman as your wife? I am. Thank you. Bud, have you communicated your love to Kristen? I have. Good. Kristen, have you acknowledged Bud's love? Yes, I have. Thank you. Kristen, are you ready to accept this man as your husband? Yes, I am. Good. Kristen, have you communicated your love to Bud? Yes, I have. Thank you. Bud, have you acknowledged Kristen's love? Yes, I have. Thank you. If there is any reason why these two people should not be joined in wedlock, let it now be heard or forever left unsaid. Bud, do you understand and affirm your covenant of faith and mutual blessings with Kristen? I do. Thank you. Bud, do you value your solemn promise to love, 
to cherish, to honor the person, the goals and dreams and rights of Kristen, and take her here with honest purpose as your wife. I do. Thank you. Kristen, do you understand and affirm your covenant of faith and mutual blessings with Bud? I do. Good. Kristen, do you vow your solemn promise to love, to cherish, to honor the person, the goals and dreams and rights of Bud, and take him here with honest purpose as your husband? Yes, I do. Thank you. May I have the ring? <laughs> consists of circles and the circle has been an emblem of permanency to man since time immemorial in fact it represents time and space which are without ending it also signifies strength spirit and love I want you to look upon these two symbols and mock up an ARC triangle in each one now the A is for the affinity you have for each other the R is for the reality of its agreements both of you have made the C is for communication that will keep this affinity and reality ever present. Together they equal understanding. As long as these emblems remain with you, I want you to see a triangle in the center. As a reminder that the reality of their symbolism of permanency will hold true only so long as that triangle remains unbroken. So I should like to see you make a pact between you that you will never close your eyes and sleep on a broken triangle. Heal any breach with the reality of your love through communication. If you do this, these emblems of your greatest desire in present time will remain a reality through your future. Have you made that pact? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Good. So, if are going to bed one evening and you don't want to talk to each other, just take the ring off and put it in front of the other's eyes and you're going to have to start talking. <laughs> Alright, so let us proceed. No problem. Bud, would you take this ring and place it on Kristen's finger? Bud, please repeat after me. With the symbol of my love, with the symbol of my love, I take thee, Kristen, I take thee, Kristen, as my true and lawful wedded wife, as my true and lawful wedded wife. I pledge thee to keep this love. I pledge thee to keep this love. Ever living, ever real. Ever living and ever real. Kristen, will you take this ring and place it on Bud's finger? <clears throat> Kristen, please repeat after me. With this symbol of my love. With this symbol of my love. I take thee, Bud. I take thee, Bud. As my true and lawful wedded husband. As my true and lawful wedded husband. I pledge to keep this love. I pledge to keep this love. Ever living, ever real. Ever living, ever real. And now by the powers vested in me by the state of California, I declare you, Bud, and you, Kristen, to be truly and legally husband and wife. I will ask that you seal the ceremony with your lips. <laughs> And I will ask these witnesses present to join me in blessing this ceremony with the postulate that the trust and love of the present shall become ever stronger with each passing year. Did you do that? Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Bud Gregg. <laughs>
have a really long year. Happy life and happy life. We all know you well. Congratulations. Mazel well, tov. Never gonna go so well. But 
Why should I try to resist? But baby, I know so well that I've got you under my skin. I would sacrifice anything from what I could say. Holding you near in spite of a warning voice. Comes in the night and it beats and it shouts in my ear. We're married. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge my sister Debbie for the bracelets that are being handed out for the women. First of all, she made them with her talent. And just want to thank her very much for helping out. My, my extreme pleasure. Beautiful. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge Kelly, my younger sister's birthday here in five days. <laughs> and mine is a week from today. So have another drink for that, right? Uh, Eric and Donna are celebrating their 10 year. What else? <laughs> There's a lot of things. We just want to thank everybody for coming out, especially if you travel a long way to be here. My birthday is a week from today. Thank you very little. You're going to be 36? 36, that's right. I know you thought I was older. No, every, everybody in this room is very special to Kristen and I, and we just want to thank everyone for coming. And uh, enjoy. Have a good night. Good meal. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Oh, okay. I'd <laughs> like to introduce you to Eric. Okay. He's, he's the guy in this room I've known uh, longest of all, with the exception of my family. Kindergarten, right? What Kindergarten. It was nice. yes. 70, wasn't it? Yeah, we were about this tall. Yeah. Kindergarten. Uh, 1970. I have not known anybody in my life longer than Bud, except for my family. I'm sorry. And this is the day I've just been, I've been wishing it would come. It's finally here. I'll tell you about the hundred dollars. Okay. Well, all right. So back up here. Bud and I had a little, uh, a little wager going on a decade ago. And uh, it was, I think we agreed that whoever got married first, they had to send the other one $100. So that was how I sort of announced it to Bud. Which was all the money in the world when we made that. Right, that was a lot of money. <laughs> and, you know, that was 10 years ago, and, and I got a letter from Bud uh, two months ago, I guess it was. Yeah. We opened it up, and all this cash fell out. <laughs> Two fifty dollars bills. Right, right. I, you know, it's not Hanukkah, it's not Pascal. So, you know, I said, well, he must be getting married. So it was absolutely a shocker, because at that point, I really didn't know what was going on, because the last I heard, <laughs> things were not going as well as they could have been. So it was really quite a wonderful surprise and a wonderful shock. Scared the crap out of Sometimes, you know, you, right. you, you gotta miss what you got before you know what you got. No. Amen. In any case, it's just great to see you and Kristen. Very great man and you got a wonderful one. Yes. And I'm just so I'm so happy. I'm I I am so happy i am i am feeling a lot of joy in my heart for you guys. And I hope you have kids really soon. Let's raise our glasses. <laughs> Yeah, people have been waiting a long time for this day. Okay, enjoy, guys. Bring on the food. Bring on the music. I want to make you smile whenever you're sad. Build you a fire if the furnace breaks. 
Would you be?